Jeez, just full of things that I can't carry right now, aren't we? Uh, if I put this down here... Book of Skill. Uh, basically, you right-click that. I have four skill choices right now. Now I have five. It's simple enough. Uh, let's pick up that Heretic Skull. It should take up four as well. Um, and I do need to go back to town. But we do have stuff to do in town, so I might as well keep this in. So yeah, uh, the quest changed to... Kill Radiment, which I did. Now we can return to Atma for a reward. And show the scroll to Cain and Luke Elaine. So, I don't know if you guys remember where Atma is. She is right in here. Sometimes she's outside, but a lot of times she's inside. They say that the taste of vengeance is bittersweet, but I find it to my liking. In addition to my undying gratitude, I have spoken on your behalf with the rest of the townspeople. The merchants have agreed to show their gratitude by offering their wares and services at lower rates. Oh, Jaren wants to see you too. You'll find him in front of the palace. So sweet, she's haggled for us. That is awesome. Quest completed. Uh, now we have two things that we need to do here in town. We need to talk to Deckard Kane first because he's got the best Sean Connery impression in this game. Ah, oh, the lost Herodric scroll. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Herodrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now, to read the Herodric runes it bears. Hmm. The Herodric Mages, after binding Bale within Talrasha, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece hiding them separately to safeguard them. The Herodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. Collect both parts of a Herodric staff and unite them using a Herodric cube. Then you may enter Tal Rasha's burial chamber. Wow, that was a lot of information. Can you identify my items? Thank you. Uh, basically what he said was that we need to start looking for stuff. What does it actually say? Yeah, we need to find the cube. Uh, that is definitely most important. I want to get that done as soon as possible. Uh, then we have to find the shaft of the staff. And then we have to find the headpiece for the staff. And then we have to combine them using the cube, which is the crafting that I've been talking about all this time. But we were also told to speak with Jaren at the palace, which is down here. Please let me pass. Me pass. Hey, what's up? You glitched Hello. right outside. Uh, how, how nice of you. I have heard of your many deeds of skill and bravery. I feel I can trust you with something I have been hesitant to speak of. Drognan and I have concluded that the Dark Wanderer who passed through here recently was Diablo himself. Drognan believes that Diablo is searching the desert for the secret tomb where the great Horodric mage, Talrasha, keeps Bale imprisoned. You must find Diablo and put an end to the terrible evil that has fallen upon our city. Drognan is wise and is sure to have some helpful advice for you as to how Talrasha's tomb may be found. It may take you quite some time to find the tomb. May you be ready when you do. So thanks to Jaren, doesn't it pop up? Yeah, new quest. The last quest, find Talrasha's tomb. Yeah, is there any, was there ever gonna be a doubt that Talrasha was gonna be the boss of, of, of this one? Well, not necessarily the boss, but that is where we'll find the boss, which is in his tomb because, well, Bale is imprisoned inside of him. Just like Diablo's imprisoned inside the Wanderer. Well, it's Google 1.0. Uh, but I do need to do uh, some things here in town. You'll see my rejuvenation potions are gone. <sighs> Thought that didn't work. didn't do that in single player. Apparently that fixed an update. Last one I played was I think 109. Alright, so you can't you can't drop stuff in town. Either way, 
Time to get some shopping and selling done. Before we head back into the sewers and, and continue looting, uh, I did pick up a flawed emerald instead of a chipped emerald. I don't remember when that happened, to be honest with you. This is the second level of gems, uh, but we'll go more into that later. As you can see, it is a poison and poison... Yeah, you don't want to put this on armor and helms. You either want to put this on weapons or shields uh, because really poison is, is where it's at, not dexterity. So, uh, I'm done here. I don't really need to do anything else. Might as well continue on screen through the sewers and continue picking the shit up. We are not actually done here, even though we did find and destroy the boss. And look at all this gold. Look at all that gold. That's awesome. Now, we do not need the mana recharge shrine. I do not use mana. Uh, now I've already forgotten what I was talking about as the off subject. Oh, I was talking about music, that's right. Um, yeah, I know some of you aren't going to care about my musical tastes, but yeah, I really would suggest that you guys try to listen to something that's not on the radio, maybe something uh, that you hear on on YouTube. So, like, even now you can listen to, to commercials and they're pretty damn good. A lot, most of my favorite, yeah, like I said, most of my favorite songs were never played on the radio, at least that I've heard, especially around here, because, well, LA's kind of known for being sellouts in terms of music, but we do have a lot of bands that came out of here, you know? We do have, what, like, Silver Sun pickups are from here, no doubt, freaking down the street from where I live, uh, and th yeah, you know the song, No Doubt Does? My, your mom went to my high school. Yeah, my mom did go to her high school. That's the crazy thing. Uh, we all know where, where she went to high school around here because she's, like, legendary. Uh, what else? Who else? Incubus is from here. They're from, like, right... Or, oh, I'm out of stamina potions. Damn you. <laughs> Damn you, stamina. I must stand around. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm using a town portal. We're, we're done here. We're done. So, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, identify and sell these things really quickly, and then, uh, I'll meet you at our next destination, which is across town. Okay, I've done everything I need to do in town. Let us head out of town, actually, and we've entered the Rocky Waste, where we find more huntresses. Oh, and also these annoying guys. These are sand leapers, and these guys will troll the fuck out of you. Oh, we've already got a special? Like, really? Sorry, I didn't get a chance to see her name there. Or what was special about her because she died so damn fast. I guess you weren't special at all. Ooh, a flawed amethyst. I will take that, definitely. I've already gotten to the point, it looks like, where I no longer need light potions. Uh, amethyst does attack rating, strength, and defense. I'd probably recommend defense on that, though strength is pretty good. If you need it. And here we found beetles. I hate beetles. Beetles are all lightning enchanted. It doesn't matter what kind you find. These are dung soldiers. They are all lightning enchanted. And they come in huge ass packs sometimes. All of them getting hit. Yeah, well, I'm under that. And all of them just doing damage right back onto you. I hate them. And I wish, I wish they were the only ones that we found along the way that, that did that. But definitely Act 2 has more of these kinds of enemies than any other act in the game, which is always nice. <laughs> but, yeah, Act 2, uh, yeah, are you serious? You want to play this game? I'm giving you a chance to back out and back off now. No thanks. And we have a special Sand Leaper. Now, the Sand Leapers, the reason that they troll you is they run more than anybody else. Uh, it was mana burn and plague pox, so my mana is gone, but look at the recharge. Oh, and he stole it again. Get over here and finish him off out his ear. Thank you for leveling up. Crystal sword? Really? I'd rather have the superior jawbone cap. Alright, uh, actually I don't even think I need to pick up any more healing potions right now. I've already leveled up and I don't need those anymore. Uh, no. No es bueno. The Crystal Sword, like I said, it usually has some good stats on it. At least the ones that I find. 
they have a little bit more often uh, the better bonuses in terms of uh, everything that goes with it but it's not for me I'm a I'm a paladin therefore I I need blunt objects to smack my enemies uh, the only good thing about the, the beetles is that they illuminate the screen which I don't really even need anyway but look at my health go way down while or we're taking them on. Well, his ears even getting hit quite a bit. He does, of course, have more defense than I do. 214. Uh, oh, mine doesn't really show right there. To my 95. God, just not even close. So much better than me, El Hazir. I wish to be the man that you are, El Hazir. Stamina potion. I do need that. Lock chest with nothing good. Really. A little bit of money, but that's about it. Die, jug. Oh, I didn't really mean to use that. Whatever. Destroy it away. Open up the skeleton without moving. Thank you. Nicely done. I'm one of these guys. But we are getting very close to a very important level, and I am eyeing that experience bar like you wouldn't believe, and I have been since we got since we started. I want that next level up. What the hell have I been picking up? Antidote potions. Uh, those cure poison, but I don't need it because my po my poison is awesome right now. Poison defense, I guess you could say. I don't know why the body creaks like that. Just the same as it does with a wooden chest. It even sounds like a wooden creak, but it, it, it means that it's trapped and you need to run away from it. If you so choose, if you want to stand there and take it like a man, you can do that too. It's, it's not like it's going to kill you or anything. So we're back to my old strategy, which is uh, walking all the way around. And then filling in the gaps in between. Uh, there are, I believe, a few of these kinds of places, but we'll definitely get to a point once again. Uh, there we go, my important level. Level 18. This is probably the most important level up that my character goes through. You want to see why? But you want to see why. But first, we're going to identify these rings. Gold. Don't even need gold. I think I'm good on gold. All right, let's look at let's up the stats. Up to strength to, to 50. That is very important as well, but not nearly as important as these new skills. Uh, we're going to have concentration, which I am going to put a point in, uh, or increases the damage and decreases the chance the attack will be interrupted for you and your party. And I'm actually going to switch to concentration. Because it's better than might, even though I have plus, I have three to might. Because the same thing, it's damage up by 60% right now. Radius isn't as good, but it also gives me a chance to be inter uninterruptible. Uh, so then I'm also going to put a point into... Yeah, I guess I'll put it into Vigor. Even though, once again, that's an aura I will not be using. Um, is that... What else can I learn here? Oh, Holy Freeze. It freezes nearby enemies. A very good... Uh, very good skill to have. Freezing enemies, of course, is very important in this game. It slows them down. It's, in my opinion, the most po most powerful element in the game. Cold. Uh, but what I really want is Blessed Hammer. Now, I mean, like I said, this is a very important level up for me because I'm changing my setup almost entirely in terms of skills. Uh, Blessed Hammer. Um, it summons an ethereal hammer that spirals outward, damaging enemies. It hits 150% to undead. And it does 23 to 31 damage at a mana cost of 5. Uh, man the mana cost should stay the same throughout. It never raises. Uh, you could also get Vengeance, uh, which adds everything except for Poison to your attack, which is kind of nice. Uh, but, I don't know, some things absorb... Well, not absorb, but a lot of things are immune to that kind of stuff. So, that Vengeance I kind of like as well, but I'm going for Blessed Hammer instead. What does Blessed Hammer look like? I'm glad you asked, because I actually need to change the setup a little bit here. Control F1. Uh, you highlight what you want it to be, and then you hit Control and an F button, and it changes it. Uh, and then Control F2. And I'm going to stay on F1 
one, which is the normal attack for now because it does consume mana. As soon as I do find another big pile of enemies, I'll hit F2 and I will destroy them with my blessed ethereal hammer. And you shall see. You shall see. Did I put one into blessed aim? I didn't. Let's put another one into blessed aim. Why not? I do have the skill points now. I'll eventually run out. I may regret putting that point in there, but might as well do it for now. Uh, because, oh, I didn't even show why I'm doing that. Uh, not big enough. Not, not big enough. Why I'm putting the points into concentration, well, concentration because it's going to be what I'm using, uh, and blessed aim. The reason I put it into blessed aim is you can see... Blessed Hammer receives bonuses from Blessed Aim and Vigor, which is this defensive aura here. And whenever you have one point, you get plus 14% magic damage. So even though it says 25 to 33 magic damage, it's actually plus... Nah, I can't do the math. 7 times 14... 8 times 14 percent damage, you know, I'm, I'm not doing that math. It does more damage, damn it. Get over here and die. Freaking sand leapers run away all the damn time. Here we go, here we go. F2. Click, click, click. Click, click. I don't know if you guys can see the hammers. But they just destroyed. They did. And it was awesome. Uh, they're they're kind of small. They go in this pattern that goes, you know, around like this. I believe it goes around four times before it goes away. I should know. I see it all the damn time. Uh, but I honestly don't know for sure how how often it goes. I know where it stops, which is about here. Yeah, it spirals outward, which is why uh, the guide that came with the the treasure chest, well, they called it the treasure chest, that I got recommended not using it, because they're like, oh, it's so erratic, which way it goes, and I'm like, no, you can, you can figure it out, plus if you're in a large group of enemies, and trust me, as you go through the higher difficulties, that, it's not that the enemies get tougher, there's more of them, they just start surrounding you, and they're tougher, now let's resist cold, and then we can go in here, the stony tomb, there's not going to be anything down here in particular that I'm looking for, this isn't the quest spot. Ah, damn you guys! Blessed Hammer! Then move slightly. More Blessed Hammer! It goes a little bit easier with it, don't you think? Maybe that's just me? Now, I forgot what I have that's giving me plus mana. Um, no, no. What's giving me plus mana? 20% damage taken goes to mana. Apparently nothing? So the man is recharging that fast all on its own? That's awesome. Uh, you don't want to use it all the time. Oh, uh, new trap here. If if you stand too close, these uh, there's actually these things on both sides. They shoot little spike balls at you, but you still have a chance to block it, which is usually what happens. Really? All the to level 2? I'll go the other way then. But, once again, they're traps. You don't have to care too much about them. Not this point. Not at this point at all. Poison Shrine. Is all his ear gone? He can't stand it. I can, though. <laughs> Just stand still. And you won't get poisoned. And then you pick up all these choking gas potions. Those stack. I don't know why they stack, but... Choking gas potions, they stack. They sell for a, a lot when you get a big stack of them. So I'm going to try to sell those. Oh, now we're, got, we're now we're at the point that I hate. Not if I'm for blessed hammer right here. Uh, these rats' nests right here, they can glitch you sometimes. I don't know when it happens. I don't really know why it happens. <sighs> like I wish I could drop a save state, but I really can't. So here we go. Click it. That one's fine. Let's try to get close to it. The, the, what I've found a lot of times is you want to get right up to it before you click it. And that's trapped. Whatever. 
Um, a lot of times if you click it, you know, over here, and you, you have to run up to it before you open it, a lot of times you'll spawn on the other side. You'll just cross the, the rat's nest and end up in this corner, and you literally can't move. You try to click the character away, and you just start spinning in circles. And the only way to fix it is to exit the game. You can't even open up a town portal and get out of there. No! Blessed Hammer says die! And then switch back. See how quick that was? Blessed Hammer, man. Never leave home without it. Even though I left home did the whole first act without it. Uh, and, and I know a lot of people don't like Blessed Hammer because it got overused in multiplayer. I, like I said, I have no plans on using this in multiplayer. This is purely my... Uh, my killing monsters build. Uh, I don't really have a PvP build for Diablo 2. I don't know. PvP isn't that strong in this game. At this point, we're not going to find anything that looks like a radiment. Uh, remember the boss that we fought in the sewers. Uh, we're not going to find anything that looks like him. If we would, we would see these black spiky things going across the ground. When you see that, you want to kill the radiment looking thing. And I've, I keep on calling them the radiment looking thing because I forgot their proper name. Ooh, Rondash. Oh, your aura enchanted? Funny. My blessed hammer cares not about your aura. The only bad thing about the, the blessed hammer is that it does destroy itself on walls. So let's say I'm standing here and I use the blessed hammer it will either hit this wall here or this wall here and then it won't go any further out this way so there is a strategy to using it i don't have room for the rondash i can dump the, the mace that's crap nobody cares about that damn mace um yeah why not i don't really care anyway but i want to look at the rondash damn it it's blue it's better than my regular one uh, uh plus nine is a Yes. Yes. So much better. And this can actually go back to town and be sold. What do you have? Is this fire and might? Is this fire and cold? It doesn't really matter either way. Yeah, the mace was crap. Oh, super special awesome chest. We already found it. Well, I guess we are on level two. I forgot that. Nothing else here. Let's open that up. What do you got for me? Another Rondash. Wow. It is good to be a paladin in my little walkthrough today. I am overburdened. Alright, back to town. I'll let you know how good that round dash is.